If you are on the hunt for some indoor, year-round, family-friendly fun, we have found it out here in Garner. We are at Crazy Axe, and we have one of the members of our CBS 17 family with us today. This is Rachel. She actually works in our production department, but she throws axes in her spare time. Thank you so much for having us out. Thank you for having us. I'm excited to hear more about this double life that you live outside of the station. So tell me about Crazy Axe, because this is your second location here in Garner. Yes, yes. We have a location on Capitol. Boulevard in Raleigh. So that is our original location that we opened at the beginning of 2020. We were shut down for a few months due to COVID when all of that started with the pandemic and we opened back up in late 2020 and we opened this Garner location just a couple of months ago. It's our newer location. We wanted to expand um, the opportunity for fun for people in different areas of the triangle and so we've been here for a couple months now and we just really want to have people with lots of different age groups, um, you know, three generational birthday parties we have here a lot, and so it's all a lot of fun. We teach people how to throw axes. We've got a bunch of coaches here, a very diverse group of coaches that want to create a fun environment for everybody that steps foot here. Yes, I know axe throwing has become so popular in recent years. What do you think kind of caused this surge in the interest in axe throwing? That's a good question. I think it started in the north. It definitely started in Canada and kind of made its way down. And with the rise of social media, it came with that as well. People really starting to throw in their backyards. And then the rise of kind of the need for doing this um, in a structured environment. Um, our owners went up uh, from where they're from in New York and had thrown there and just really enjoyed it and realized they wanted to create that family environment down here where they are now. And so that's kind of what started Crazy X. That is so cool. It's such a fun sport. So you mentioned there are tons of events and happenings for all sorts of ages for the whole family. So tell me a little bit about what people can do when they come out to experience crazy acts. Yeah, so the first thing you do when you get here is you check in, you fill out a waiver, we greet you at the door, we are happy to see you when you get here. Um, a lot of people come and celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, date nights, um, anything you want to do. We get some Girl Scout groups, Boy Scout groups, churches, sports teams, all of the above, anything that anybody wants to celebrate. Um, and so we bring them here, we're happy to have them, and then they're with a coach for their entire time. The coach gives a safety briefing, kind of teaches them how to throw, and the coach stays with them for their entire time to kind of foster a learning and positive environment. Mm -hmm. um, and you have your time period to learn how to throw and play a bunch of different games that we offer. That is so cool. And I know people who haven't tried it before, they might be a little nervous about the safety aspect of it. So how do you guys ensure that people are safe while they're here? So it's much safer than a lot of people think that it is. Um, and so we definitely have that supervision from our trained coaches throughout their time period. Um, we encourage people to throw softly. It doesn't have to be a hard throw to learn how to throw. Um, so we encourage soft throwing. Um, we go through all of the safety things that people need to know when they get here, which allows them to safely learn how to throw um, and give them feedback as they're throwing as well. Nothing scary going on here. It's all just a bunch of fun. All right, well, I'm excited to get a little lesson. I'm going to learn a little bit about this, but if people want to check out Crazy Axe at both locations, where can they go to find out all the information and maybe book their party? Yeah, so go to thecrazyaxe.com, and that will give you a space to learn all the information you need. We actually teach you how to throw online as well, so if you want to watch anything or read off on it before you come, it's a great place to do that. And then you can book right on there on the book tab, and that will take you through the entire booking process for either location. All right, well, I'm excited to get throwing. Let's get at it. Absolutely. Yeah, so more fun coming up from my crazy axe adventure straight ahead. We're going to watch my one on one lesson to do just how fun and safe it really is. Plus, you have a chance to enter for a great giveaway. We're going to tell you all about it coming up. All right, I'm going to get a little lesson on how you throw these axes here at Crazy Axe. We've got Harrison with us. He's one of the coaches here. Uh, so you're going to give me a little basic lesson on how to throw. We've covered the safety stuff. Don't touch the sharpened. Remember that. So what? how exactly do you throw one of these at the target? All right, so perfect. So there's two ways of throwing, two very common ways. Okay. First is to throw with one hand, and the other is to throw with two hands go over your head. I'll show you what those look like real sure. quick. So the first thing, with the one hand, that's how I throw. I put my left foot forward, my non-dominant foot, right hand out, lone hand 
middle with my thumb on the back. Keep this straight. You're going to take one step. You bring it up, back, make a little box with your arm and chop forward. Two hands is very similar. I say wrap, don't stack. Make sure your fingers aren't interlocked. Thumb side by side. Bring it up over before you take your step. You want it loose enough to move, mm -hmm. tight enough to not drop it. Take one step, lean into it, and again, chop. Always draw your power from your bicep and your forearm, not your wrist or shoulder. All right, very cool. Okay, this seems easy enough, but let's see if we can teach me a thing or two. You're going to walk me through yeah, the simple steps here. Okay, all right, Harrison, I'm going to let you show me how this is supposed to be done. I'm going to try the one handed throw, and then I'm going to try to duplicate what you do. So, Show me what we got. No problem. So like I said, you put that left foot forward. This black line's a good reference point. Stiff arm, low hand with thumb in the back. Take that one step and chop. Nice. Okay. Seems easy enough. Can, can I recreate it? Let's All right. It. Again, step here and then back like this. Mm -hmm. Step and throw, correct? Absolutely. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Do it again, Jim. Uh, do, do, don't worry about that one. When it comes to aiming, what I like to do is that's why I do my stiff arm. You okay. put this oh, head first. over what you want to hit. And then keep in mind when you're aiming, after it leaves your hand, gravity is going to take effect. It's going to go a little bit lower than okay. where you were holding it before. So aim just a smidge high. Yeah. All right, stiff arm. Back. I'm getting closer. But were you rolling? He was. He was. I did this. I'm not even going to move it. I'm just going to leave it there. 